we talked about me possibly sending Rishi a message on social media to see if he would, you know, grab the bait. Yes. Quite fascinating. Two episodes in, and we already have infidelity happening to a certain degree. Last week, it was Jamie and Chris, because Jamie had obviously started talking to another woman in America. This week, we've got Jen and Rishi. Now, for me personally, I think Jen is going to be the biggest train wreck of the all this season, personally, at this moment in time, two episodes in, but that could easily change. And to be fair, if you are on my Patreon, you also know what else I think about Jen as well. But hey, for you to find that out, you got to go to my Patreon, you know what I mean? Become a member. The link is down below in the description for the full reaction to the full freaking episode. But with that being said, though, let's get back into this little point here that I wanted to make. So Jen is in a position where her friend has messaged Rishi to see if Rishi's going to reply because her friend does not trust Rishi's intention with Jen. Well, let's see what happened. Well, you responded. Okay. I think it's kind of concerning. Okay. The crazy part about it is that her reaction was, okay, her friend had to tell her that it was concerning. But you know what, though? That isn't even the pinnacle of Jen's reaction. I know you from seeing your pics, and I think you're attractive. Rishi writes back, okay, well, where are you from? And I say, I'm in London right now. So let's just process that he's engaging in this conversation. And if he's not interested, then he wouldn't even be caring to ask to where you're from. Why would you ask someone where you're from if you don't care about, you know, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this is a more and enough proof, evidence to say that Rishi is not a guy that can be trusted. But you see Jen, right? Jen has this thing in her head where she feels like, well, I'm just going to cover for him. Hmm. It's a huge, it's a red flag. Do you, do you, not, do you not want to see that? I don't know. I mean, I just think that he's confused. His English isn't great. Right. No, so, no, you're making excuses for him. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my goodness gracious me. The delusion behind Jen's character is freaking real. And my apologies. And hella freaking annoying at the same time as well. How can you sit there? Your friend has legit messaged him. He has interacted back. You don't see it as a red flag and you think it's because his English isn't that great and you giggle at the same time? It's crazy because you see, the story of Jenny is that she's got a history of making very poor decisions with her men. And in fact, each time she's made a poor decision with her men, her friends have always been there to tell her that this is not the guy and then their friends have always turned out to be right. She's in the same situation once again, but for her, she sees it differently because this time around, she's met someone in another country and she's also going to be flying out to live with him there. So therefore, the situation is different to anyone else she's ever been with. Can we make sense out of no sense? Yeah. Listen, man, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment in time, we're looking at potential the most jarring, the most annoying, the most delusional character of this season thus far and that is jen last week we experienced her crying for the sake of crying and also having a meltdown that he wasn't in contact with her this week her friend is trying to make a point here that listen this guy cannot be trusted the red flags are in front of you i've given you the proof but yet you still want to stick around and fly over there when you're trying to make sense out of life but you can't make sense out of people's stupidity that is just the bottom line but either way though ladies and gentlemen i would love for you to let me know exactly what you are thinking she's been warned by her brother she's been warned by her friends but she's still gonna go all the way to india to obviously follow her relationship oh 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 that reminds me the other thing as well that is so crazy is that <clears throat> she doesn't even have a proof she doesn't even have an approval from his family thus far at this moment in time his family wants him to marry a woman that is within the religion his family has accepted that he doesn't want to marry in terms of a uh, arranged marriage and he's happy and he's more than happy and allowed to go find someone else that he wants to actually marry. But Jen isn't on that list. Any woman that is not a part of the religion is not on that list. So we're looking at someone who wants to fly over to marry a guy, not knowing whether the family's going to accept him. And also on top of that, if the family don't accept her, well, he won't marry her. Yeah. A guy that won't marry if your family doesn't accept you and a guy that is clearly exploring options elsewhere. But hey, man, she will tell you that it's okay. He just doesn't understand English that well. <laughs> you guys let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, 
Peace.